Hi, this is Vadim from Nerdio, and welcome to the first in a series of videos that I'm going to be creating over the next several weeks called the WVD Demo of the Day. It's going to be a short video showing you how to do something in WVD using the Nerdio Manager for WVD. In today's video, we're going to look at the new streamlined installation process for the Nerdio Manager for WVD and see how easy it is to get the environment up and running in no time. Let's get started in the Azure Marketplace and create an installation of the Nerdio Manager. For those of you that have installed the product previously, you will notice that there is now a fewer number of steps to go through in order to install the uh, product. So first thing we're gonna do is select the subscription, create a resource group, and select a region to deploy this into. Let's go ahead and put it in the South Central. Then we have the choice to create admin credentials that are going to be used to initialize the product and create all the necessary service principles. Now, if we select yes on this screen, we have to provide a username and password that is going to be saved in an Azure automation runbook. Now, if we don't want to use this method, we can just say no, and we'll be given the option to download a PowerShell script that we can then run on the local computer and provide our admin credentials interactively during the installation process. But I'm going to go ahead and use the runbook. I'm gonna click OK, select yes. There is a, a link to a quick start guide that you can look at. Look at the summary, make sure everything looks all right. I'm provisioning into the right region and I've called my resource group name the proper name, click OK, and click Create. And this is now going to initialize the deployment, and in just a few minutes, this deployment will be ready to log into and perform the second part of the installation. Now that the deployment is done, we're gonna to go to Outputs, find our application URL, and open up a new tab to navigate to that application. Because we specified admin credentials during the deployment process, we have the option to run the automation runbook. Otherwise, we could download a PowerShell script and run it locally. So let's go ahead and run the runbook. This will take us to our Azure Automation account. We'll click Start, and a job will be submitted. We can click on the Output tab and watch for it to go from queued status to running status, and we can refresh the page a couple of times to see the output uh, of this runbook and see exactly what it's doing. Now that the runbook is completed running, we're gonna go back into the tab. We had uh, that web application open and refresh the screen and complete the installation and configuration of the Nerdio Manager. So on this screen, we are going to see our initial installation wizard. And there are a few things that have already been configured. Uh, based on the deployment that we went through, but now we have to select a network where the WVD session hosts are going to reside. So let's select a resource group that contains that network first. Select the network itself and select the subnet, click OK. This is going to configure the location and the region uh, where the WVD session host VMs are going to be created. We also have the choice of uh, choosing a custom resource group or keeping the one where we deployed the Nerdio Manager application. We also can configure the Active Directory that these VMs are gonna join. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll leave the organizational unit blank so the computer objects will be created under the computer's container. And then finally, we are going to specify the file storage location where the user profiles are going to be stored. So let's click here, put in the profile path, click OK, and we are done. We now have a fully functional Nerdio Manager for WVD. It has discovered our existing tenants within the same WVD deployment. And if we wanted to start managing those, we would simply need to click on associate tenant, click OK, and now this tenant will become manageable through the Nerdio Manager for WVD application. As you can see, I can click on it and it will discover all of the various host pools I already have configured. And that's it, so a few minutes later from the time we started 
uh, we have a fully functional environment. And in future videos, I will show you how to create tenants, how to deploy dynamic host pools and auto scaling and many, many other uh, tips on how to efficiently operate WVD environment. Talk to you soon. Thank you.